the gratitude all of us have um, for what the Tacos Foundation has done over the past decade here, it's hard to put in words. The faith that they had when they said, okay, we think you're ready to, to do this locally and to step up. And, you know, hopefully they feel that we, that we honored our, uh, our promises and continue to honor those every day in, in her memory. Um, you know, it is, again, it's, it's one of those diseases it's hard to treat alone. That's why we have a team and we uh, truly consider the Paul Takis Foundation part of our team in taking care of sarcomas uh, here in the greater Charlotte region. With Paula's messages, you know, she wanted to have impact in her community uh, with the disease that was affecting her and her family, and that was her vision. And we just had to all step it up to make sure that we could do that. So with the support of the Paula Takis Foundation, we will continue to do research to look at the drivers of sarcoma because ultimately with cancer research in general, we're starting to evaluate the importance of targeted therapies and that's particularly important for sarcoma. I think there's hope with discoveries in other types of cancer with targeted treatments that um, survival can be improved and we're still trying to understand that for sarcoma patients. So my vision is that in the future we can utilize our great resources here, including the biobank, as well as our molecular sequencing core and our immunology core, to further understand the mechanisms that drive sarcomas and find better treatments. When I see patients who have a new diagnosis of a sarcoma, uh, very few of them uh, have had any experience or any knowledge about sarcoma as a family of cancers. And their understanding of cancer generally is an understanding of a cancer like a carcinoma, breast carcinoma, lung carcinoma, uh, in a friend or a family member that might have migrated to their musculoskeletal system, but really most people do not have an understanding that the tumor can actually originate there. Coming in, asking questions, um, being informed, understand what, you know, what does a grade of a tumor mean? What does the size of a tumor mean? Um, you know, what studies or what areas of the body need to be um, checked for sites of uh, other sites of disease or spread. Um, those are all really important things up front. I think if you look at the phrase stronger together, it is very similar to how we look at the, the evolution of our cancer center in general. You know, back when we started the sarcoma program, I say we, when Dr. Niesel started the sarcoma program, it was one man. And, you know, he recruited people to help. He built the tumor board. And that we know having that collaborative effort creates a better care environment, creates better care for each individual patient as well as the community. Looking at how they build community, the Sarcoma Stomp is a great example of that. And that event is, you know, without question, one of my favorite events of the year. I mean, I still see patients there who are survivors. I see families of patients who unfortunately didn't survive, who still show up and they like having that, that sense of community, that, that galvanizing entity that really brings people together. And that's, you know, that's part of the reason why um, they've done such a great job supporting us is they've really kind of created the sense of community uh, around that orphan disease.